Andre, and obviously we know you're supposed to face Hani Yaya, a fight that a lot of people didn't like, I liked it, fell apart. Some people say maybe this is better now. How did we get from Hani Yaya to Marlon Marais? How did this all come together? Well, something happened to Hani Yaya. I'm not really sure, but I think he was in training, got hurt, and said, ah, ah. So <laughs> here we are. I got another top 10 opponent, um, a very big name, and uh, I think this fight is going to be fireworks. I think it will be, too. I, I do know the, the Jimmy Rivera fight, you know, the possibility that was there. And it had a little personal story. Are you disappointed at all that that fight wasn't the one you got? Uh, not really. You know, at this point, I'm done chasing Rivera. I'm moving on to bigger and better things at this point in my career. Uh, he turned down both myself and he turned down Marlon Moraes as well. So uh, here we are today. Marlon stepped up on short notice after coming off a split decision win over John Dotson. So I think this is the uh, this is the main uh, this is this 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 is a people's main event right here. Outside of Cub Swanson and, and Brian Ortega, this is a, I think this is the real co-main event. Yeah, I like it. It's a big fight. Uh, what is it with you and Brazilians, man? It's like you're rolling with Kobe Covington or something. <laughs> they just keep putting you against Brazilians. Yeah, I, I like Brazil, so Brazil don't beat me up. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know what? I thought this is going to be the fourth Brazilian I'm fighting for the year. And, you know, I, a sunset escaped with a split decision win when I was still developing my career. And uh, I learned a lot from that fight about myself and my skill set. And now I'm going to try to pull off a hat trick to end 2017 on the right foot. I like it. Uh, talk about Marias. I mean, obviously, completely different fighter than Hani Yaya. So um, is that, you know, kind of a, a pain in the ass, basically, to have to, like, completely change strategies, completely prepare for a different style of opponent? Not really. Tweak a few things. I think um, I don't really... I don't really game plan, you know. I go out there and I just, I just fight my fight. I do what I do best, and I'm gonna bring my skill sets to the table. He's gonna bring what he brings to the table, and we're just gonna have to figure this shit out. So, uh, he's actually out there right now, which is pretty funny. But, um, you know, he's a great leg kicker. He's good off of his back. He's good on top. Uh, I think it's just gonna be a, a matter of well, who's gonna have the most heart when they go out there, and uh, I think that guy's gonna be me. He was. Dominant in, in World Series of Fighting. He's had a couple tough fights in the UFC so far. I mean, have you been impressed by what you see, or, or, or was maybe he just n not the level that maybe we thought he was? You know what? I think um, when you step into the UFC and you're fighting these this top ten, I think um, you're, you're in a shark's tank. You know, so you're gonna you're gonna be in those tougher battles, those tougher fights. I think he's found out real quick that you know there's no pushover fights over here. I think he had a very dominant career over at uh, World Series of Fighting. Was able to develop his skill set a lot more being that he was there for so long. But um, it's the big leagues, man. So, and I found out the hard way as, uh, as well. You know, as soon as I broke into that top 10, my first uh, opponent, Brian Carraway, next one, Rafael Sunsell. And uh, I took out one of the goats of, of this entire Bantamweight division in Henry Burrell. So uh, I'm, I'm fighting all these tough dudes. You know, I want to keep my, hit, my, my name in the mix and eventually string together a couple of wins again and state my case to challenge for a world title in 2018. Where do you think the stakes are? I mean, where do you think this is? Because it's an interesting time now with, with the title changing hands and Dominic getting hurt and you know, all these things happen. I mean, do you, is this potentially a number one contender fight or is it something to get you in a number one contender fight? I mean, what are you looking at as the stakes? I think there's a lot that's riding on this fight for the, for the both of us. So whoever gets, whoever gets their hand raised, which will be me, uh, I think they're going to solidify themselves as a true number one contender or line themselves up for a number one contender fight. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen with TJ. TJ's in, talking about fighting Mighty Mouse. If, if that happens, that's going to really hold, hold up the division all over again. Um, there's a couple, there's a lot of young blood, new faces for TJ to challenge that he hasn't yet cleared out this division. So I think he should stay put, do, do his job as champion, and fight the guys who are the true number one contenders at this weight class. Uh, you got Jimmy Rivera in the hunt. You have uh, Rafael Sunset on the hunt, who uh, Marlon and I both lost to via split decision. Uh, I'm not sure who else. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you got Lineker. If he gets the win over Rivera, then you have Lineker in the mix as well. But he just lost to TJ. And Dominic Cruz's arm is broken. And Cody just came off of a knockout to, to, to TJ. So it's really um, a who's who's. It's a kind of a pick em. So I just got to make sure I go out there and do my job December 9th and, you know, can take the win anywhere I can get the win. But, you know, I'm trying to go out there and push a ridiculous pace and try to get the finish. So it's kind of funny, because, you know, talking about maybe TJ going out to fight Demetrius, and Demetrius needs new challengers, right? I mean, I think it would be an exciting fight, but you feel yeah. like maybe it's a little premature, I mean, to just win the title and then to go chase another one? Yeah, I, I do understand that TJ is a two-time world champion this, at this point, but at the same time, you haven't cleaned out the division yet. Uh, Mighty Mouse has cleaned out his division. He's done his job in his weight class. So, TJ, stay put, do your job, because I'm coming for the belt. 
you got all of us hungry young competitors coming up from the belt, and uh, just that's, that's all it's all about right now. We're all chasing gold. You've shown in your progression, man, that your striking keeps getting better and better and better. But is this the type of matchup, you know, knowing the kind of striking that he has, the type of leg kicks that he has, that maybe we might see you turn to the jiu-jitsu game, turn to the grappling game a little bit more, even if maybe it's not as exciting as people might want it to be? You know what? I'm just going to fight, man. I'm going to fight wherever this fight goes. If he tries to go for that patented knee tap, Frankie Yeager, you know, if, if the fight goes to the ground, I'm no stranger to fight off my back. I, I will be slashing up elbows. I will be throwing up submissions, and I will be kicking like a mule. So and if he wants to take it there, we can take it there. If he wants to stand up and fight, we can stand up and fight. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to die in there. So bring it. When you do kind of close your eyes and visualize, how, how do you see this thing? With all those possibilities, no one's there. How do you see this thing going? I don't know. This, this, I've seen multiple ways this fight can end. You know, I've seen ways that I could possibly lose, and the main thing is a decision. You know, so if you're gonna try to go out there and decision me to death, but uh, you can't. It's gonna be hard to do that if I'm the guy pushing the pace and staying in your face the entire time. I'm looking to tire his ass out and see who's got the better cardio and see what happens. That's all. That's all you can do. Go out there, give it your best, and if I have a great performance, the results will speak for themselves.